Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, something happened tonight and I want to address it with the word. And I want to ask any of you, if you have a need, if you have any issues going on in your lives, be careful not to lie about it. Now, I don't know if there was a lie taking place, but I opened my channel up to ask for people to bring an offering to one of our YouTubers who said they were in desperate need. Yet, when one of my other YouTubers clicked on, they pulled my coattail to the fact that they ended up on an LLC site. In other words, the PayPal account was not connected to a personal account. It was an LLC. So, it is best if you're going to ask people to donate to you, have a private account for that. Please. Because even if you're telling the truth, it comes across as a lie. And my channel represents God. Now, I'm not saying you're lying. All I'm saying is, please don't allow my channel to be misrepresenting a truth with a lie because I'm about God. I'm not about playing games with people's money. So I don't even get on and ask people to give me money. It'd be nice if they donate, but I don't ask it. So what I'm asking you is if you ever have a need and you send me a message saying you have a need, let it be the truth. And I'm going to read this scripture and show you why. See, because we live in the dispensation of grace, forgiveness, and mercy, we think, ah, oh, I can do what I want, and I can slide. But trust me, God has a payday. And you know they used to say in the streets, don't write no check your behind can't cover. That's between you and God. I listen to this warning. I'm saying this in love. I'm not angry. Listen to this. Acts chapter 5. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira his wife sold a possession and kept back part of the price. <clears throat> Pat's two cents. Which in and of itself was okay. His wife also being privy to it. It means in, on, in with it. In on it. And brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? While it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound them up, and carried them out, and buried them. And it was about the space of three hours after, when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yay, for so much. Pat's two cents, interpretation. If they said, No, we sold the land for this much, but we're giving this much, you know, this is the part we want to give, no problem. But they lied and said they sold for, the, for this amount, where the rest of the amount, was kept in their pockets secretly. That's where they went wrong. They lied to the Holy Ghost. They thought they were getting over on man. They lied to the Holy Ghost. Now listen. And Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at his feet 
and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in and found her dead and carried her forth, buried her by her husband. I'm going to leave it at that. That speaks for itself. See, when we misrepresent and do it in the name of the Lord, yeah, a lot of people get over. They think they're getting by. But God hasn't passed out that bill yet. See, they have time to repent, turn that thing around and come clean. But when they don't, you have no idea what consequences God has lined up for that. God bless you.